Hello everyone, my name is Beck. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. So I've done a couple of these collection videos in the past. In fact, I've done one on the Switch last year and my collection hasn't grown significantly because, you know, games do cost money. I only have so much time in a day to play them and oh sorry, I've been collecting a lot more PS4 games and PS Vita game. With limited funds, you can only do so much. I still like my Nintendo Switch. I have it like there right now and I played it this morning, so I still like it. It's just, it hasn't grown significantly, but I like to do one of these videos once a year to kind of see how far I've gone, which I know it's not a lot compared to last year. So if you like to check out that video, it will be linked down below or it'll be somewhere here with the icon cards i don't know youtube keeps changing their system so i don't know they're trying to get rid of the annotations which i desperately need if i'm watching like foreign youtube content that's a struggle but you're not here to hear all about that so here is my very humble collection all of them here and i will also be divulging a couple of things such as accessories and other miscellaneous things that has something to do with the Nintendo Switch. So let's start off with this. This is my latest, actually no, it's not my latest purchase, it's one of my latest purchases. My lovely friend JM Reyes, whose account got hacked, unfortunately. Once again, if you haven't followed his Instagram, please go and check it out. He has actually donated 55 bucks to me. He helped me out greatly because I was only going to get the standard edition. It was treated as like a Christmas present, so I managed to get Pokemon Let's go Eevee plus the Pokeball Plus. And here is the Pokeball Plus. I have completed the main storyline and I haven't done anything post-game. I have yet to finish the Pokedex, but I've caught a good chunk of them. In terms of the mechanics of the games, if you want to hear a better summary of how I feel about the game, I've made three videos of it. So if you like to check it out, it's on my channel. There we have it. A lot of people went out of their way to get a Switch for this game. And I must say, when I first got this game, I was thoroughly addicted to it. Now you need to have the online services to play it. And luckily, I was put on a family plan and now I can go online. The last time I played it was probably like two or three months ago. I have every intention to play it, but it's kind of in the back burner right now because the friends I usually play with, they are opposite sides of the world and the time zones don't match and I have work. I don't play rank, I just play the normal battles. I am off work next week, so I would have time to actually play some Switch 2. This is also a recent purchase for this year, a lot of people have it. If you are a JRPG fan, then I guess most of you would have got this if you own a Switch. I have completed the storyline. My favorite character is Primrose. I started with her and she was the first choice I had in the demo as well. got it around the second week of its launch and it was $5 off its original price. I had to use like a couple of coupons to get it. I had made so much purchases during that month. This is like one of my earliest purchases back when the Switch was first launched. I may have gotten it during like the first or second week. I've always been a big Pure Pure fan and I like Tetris in its cute form. I like this game but truth be told I have played it maybe once or twice and I have left it on the shelf to collect dust ever since. I don't have anything against this game, it's just not something I commonly reach for because there's so many other games that I could play. <laughs> like, I will eventually go back to it one day, hopefully. And obviously, I think most Switch owners have a copy of Zelda. This is the very first game that I picked up on the Nintendo Switch and I don't know if I'm going to get in trouble with a couple of my friends when I say this or people who potentially watch this. I haven't completed this game yet, I just need to beat Ganon. That's all I need to do, but I just, for the life of me, couldn't be bothered. And I remember having a conversation with my friend Daniel. He's in the same situation as me. I'm pretty sure I know a couple of people who are in the same situation as me, so I don't feel as bad, but one day, I swear I will beat Ganon. But you know, time crunch, the kind of excuse I already gave you in the beginning of this year, you know. Have you guys been in this game yet? I bet most of you have, but I haven't. And someone did spoil the ending for me, so I'm kind of reluctant into going back, but I should at least beat it because I went this far to get it. You know, I should try. And this is another backlog, so what can I say about this? I haven't played this in such a long time. I remember the reason why I stopped was because I was finally at a point where I had to grind a little bit before I can progress in the story and I just got stuck there, I just had no motivations to continue. I just left it as it is. 
I feel like this excuse is just like reasons why I haven't been playing games that I've bought but hey this is one of my backlogs. I remember when this first launched a lot of people had a difficult time in getting this game but I wasn't one of them and I feel kind of guilty because I just bought it on a whim and I just didn't play it. After the first week of owning this game that was the last time I've ever touched it so do you guys have this? I know another copy of this came out quite recently. I didn't even bother picking it up because I haven't even completed this. And I know if I buy that one, it will just sit on the back of my shelf as per usual. So, and this one is another gift from my friend Chizu who happened to have an extra copy. I wasn't going to pick this up until later on when it went on sale. She had an extra copy. She sent it to me. It's currently suffering the same fate as Zelda because I am... Up to the final stage, I just need to beat the final Bowser. I know it's just the final castle. I've done everything else. I just haven't beaten him yet. I don't know why I'm so reluctant in finishing these games. I'm so close yet so far. I just need to beat the final boss and that's it. If you like Mario, you definitely like this. I also know the ending. It's kind of predictable because it's Mario. But it's actually genuinely a lovely game. Again, I feel kind of bad for not finishing it, but I'm in the final cast. If Cheesy, if you're watching this, I'm really grateful that you gave this to me, and I I swear I will finish this game soon. And it's out of the shelf. I took it out separately so I could take pictures of it. I have an Instagram if you guys want to follow that. I do post on Instagram for people who don't watch my videos to see what kind of stuff I've been playing lately, so that's one of them. And this is a recent purchase that I brought from Hong Kong. Um, I got it before it was released out in the West. And it was like a slightly cheaper, like $20 cheaper than buying it domestically in Australia. Taiko. It's just one of those games where you just play, for me at least, I play for a short period of time. I get bored of it. I just put it away. But occasionally I'll take it out and play it. I haven't spent too much time on it. Recent purchase from Hong Kong. Really like this game. Just haven't spent too much time on it. Just like the theme of every single game I've talked about. But trust me, I have played it. Just not adequate enough time. Considering I did finish Octopath Traveler. So you win some, you lose some. And I have Fire Emblem Warriors. Again, played one chapter of this. Never completed it. Don't particularly enjoy this type of genre of game. Didn't know that I was buying kind of like a Dynasty Warrior. But Fire Emblem-esque when I got this game. I was thinking it was more of a traditional Fire Emblem game, so it's my mistake because I didn't do any research. But anything that has Fire Emblem on it, I'm going to buy, along with everything I've said just so far. I will play it, just not now. I'm going on a Christmas break very soon, so I do have an opportunity to go through all of this. I have Bomberman, which a Instagram friend of mine gifted me. Still have it haven't completed the main storyline i don't even know if there's a story mode for this but i've only played like maybe one game i grew up with mama man i like the franchise really much but just something in me that just didn't gravitate towards this game do you guys have this i know it's on sale at a lot of places so let's move on i've completed this game happy to say i will not be buying the Torma one even though i really want to I have a lot of backlog as you can see and it's still somewhat expensive and I would like to see if there's a sale on later on. I might consider picking it up if I complete more games. I'm happy that I completed this. It was okay. It wasn't a 10 out of 10 for me like most people but it's not necessarily bad. I just felt like some parts didn't connect but overall I did enjoy the entire game. I just prefer the first game over this in terms of the story. Battle mechanics, I feel like this one's better. But I'm not really a review channel. I just personally see it as something I did enjoy, but it was also very frustrating at the same time. Just with certain bosses, with any RPGs really. Still need to start that new game plus. I know there was an updated patch that I haven't played yet, but for the most part, I did enjoy this game. Last but not least, I have the Diablo. Eternal Collection, which my friend Yours Please to help me get during the Black Friday sales for 17 US dollars. I'm up to the cathedral, so I'm not that far in. I have played um, Diablo 3 in the past on the PC. It's nice to have it on the Switch, and I have like Pokemon Let's Go Eevee in here because it's currently in my Switch system. So I just started because I recently got the Nintendo Online services. 
I need to figure out the time zones with my friends because I want to play together with a group of people. I don't want to do it solo. I can probably go solo, but I don't want to. And this is a my game. I'm currently borrowing Snack World from my friend Robo, but I just have it on me. And I took a print screen of what I have digitally, so as you can tell, I have Just Dance, which is a borrowed game, again, from Robonata. I have returned it ages ago. I didn't spend too much time on it. And I have Voice and Pokemon, that free Pokemon quest. I was going to buy another game that was on sale for five bucks. But that's pretty much all the physical and digital collections that I have on the Switch. It's not a lot. I have played these games, but I just haven't completed most of it. So I can't really justify getting another one until I finish some of them. For the most part, they are pretty expensive. And same as last year, I still have these two cases, which I will never give away because they're mine. One I use for travel and one to kind of store all the games in one place. And I have a clear case. This is not Hori because I can't afford Hori. For some reason, eBay gave me a $10 coupon out of nowhere. No minimum spending. So I just happened to find this case on eBay for like $9.99. So I used that coupon and I got it. And I have these analog covers from the Mario set that I got. This one. I've that's just in my last video. I don't think anybody wants to hear it again. And this is one of my favorite purchases of 2018 for the Switch. Is my Pro Controller, the Splatoon one, which is over here. Got it in Hong Kong. Relatively cheaper than buying it domestically in Australia. I just love this. And that's basically all my Nintendo Switch related stuff, which isn't a lot. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. I did sell my 1 2 Switch if anybody's wondering. Don't have that game anymore. And I feel like basically that's that's it for 2018 for me. I won't be purchasing anything new unless there's a massive clearance going on. That's my only excuse. Like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a comment down below if you have anything you'd like to ask me or any recommendations that you would like me to check out for the Nintendo Switch. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and subscribe if you haven't already or don't. I don't blame you if you don't want to watch my videos because I find myself very boring as well. Hit the bell if you're a returning subscriber so you can get notifications from me. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! I'm trying to film a video but my neighbor is outside doing, you know, regular people stuff. I'm glad her dogs aren't barking but I need to film. <laughs> Just, she can hear every single thing I'm saying. It's also very humid. So I want to tie up my hair, but I don't have a hair tie, so <laughs> what is a girl supposed to do? I don't know when she's going to get out, so. She can hear me. Oh my god, please go back inside. <laughs> no. <laughs>